Hi, on this episode of Small Town Western New York, I'm taking a day trip to a place that simply sits pretty far off the radar for most of us in Western New York, but it really shouldn't. This place has really come into its own over the last decade or so, with a newly rehabbed section of its downtown and a theater restoration project that took decades. With a location that sits right on the amazing Zor Valley as well as the Amish Trail and features great shops and neighborhoods and restaurants and even had a few scenes from one of my favorite all-time classic comedy movies filmed there, well, it makes a great day trip for anyone. I'm headed to the village of Gowanda. The village used to be called Aldrich Mills, after Turner Aldrich, who was the first European-American settler who arrived here in 1810, taking 707 acres of land, which would today make up the entirety of the village of Gowanda. And much like many of the early settlers and pioneers in this region back then, he first built a sawmill, and then in 1817, a grist mill. And there are records of farmers traveling from as far as 30 miles away along old American Indian trails just to get here, which at the time was no easy feat. The village eventually changed its name to Lodi, but that was in conflict with another town in Seneca County. So they settled on the name of Gowanda, which is taken from a Seneca language term meaning a valley among the hills, and it couldn't be more appropriate. It was first incorporated in 1848, but due to a state regulation, had to be reincorporated again in 1878. An interesting fact about the village is that it's actually split by Cattaraugus Creek, which is next to me here. It's the dividing boundary between Erie and Cattaraugus counties. The northern part of the village sits in Erie County and the southern in Cattaraugus. The village also has quite a few places listed on the National Register of Historic Places, with the Bank of Gowanda Building and the Historic Hollywood Theater on the register, as well as the Gowanda Village Historic District. The buildings here are still in great shape, with many in fantastic condition, with continual ongoing improvement efforts all over the village to help beautify the place. So you can't do an episode about Gowanda without mentioning the gorgeous Zor Valley. It was named after the city of Zor from the Book of Genesis and is home to old growth, bottom land and slope forests, with some trees over 400 years old. One of the things I would suggest while you're here in the valley is just be mindful um, of where the gorge is. Um, I'm here, it's very dark, <laughs> uh, it's actually raining really hard and the gorge isn't really that visible. There's a few certain spots I've found where it's mildly visible, but uh, generally it hasn't been. So just a little tip to be very mindful. The species diversity here at the canyon's bottom is among the highest in the Northeast, with more than 20 species, with canyon depths ranging from 380 to 480 feet. The Cattaraugus Creek, which flows through the valley, is the largest tributary to eastern Lake Erie, with low levels in summer to seasonal floods that can be truly treacherous. As you can imagine, Zor Valley is a popular destination for all sorts of outdoor recreation, featuring fishing, hiking, and in-season whitewater rafting and hunting. One of Gowanda's most amazing features is a project that was decades in the making, and to me, is synonymous with everything that's happening right here, right now in Western New York. It was a project I don't think anyone would have believed possible at first, but over time, all that's changed. And what's here now is simply a testament to the will, determination, and spirit of the husband and wife team who restored her, because that is simply how we are built here in Western New York. Never give up, never give in, and always, always keep working hard towards your goal. Rewind all the way back uh, to when you first found uh, the theater. So you lived in town with your family, and what was the interest here? 1992, the theater closed. Okay. It sat vacant for about four years. Right. A local businessman, uh, Granat Family of Businesses, purchased uh, the building. Okay. And donated it to a local non for profit, and that local non for profit also. Um, garnered a grant from Shippo um, to replace the roof. The roof had leaked and it was unmaintained and did a bunch of damage. Right. And the donation of that building was the local share. Okay. And then the money as part of the grant uh, replaced the roof on the building. And that's what began the whole process. So that was 23 years ago. Yep. And so through the course of this, I mean, I'm sure it must have been an incredible adventure, and you've probably become a different person from your knowledge that you've gained from I doing it. I used to have hair. <laughs> <laughs> so now this theater has been here since when? When was the first year it was open? 19, April of 1926. This building, prior to this building, there was uh, 
what they call the Guanda Opera House. It burnt in 1924. Okay. And that was their local gathering, their, their social thing. Right, right. Because of the fire, right. uh, they had this rebuilt, and it's mostly made out of uh, concrete and steel. There's very little in here that will burn. So from 23 to 26 to 92, in regular use, 92 it goes down and then it sat for, it sat for four years. For four years, and in that time, the roof just kind of the damage to the building and wow. so on, and, and the upgrades it needed. Right. Um, the process began. So now, what are your plans for the future with this? To continue on. Just put to, it back to what it was. Yeah. And, Movies, and, plays, guest speakers, yes, events. Exactly. So most of our projects so far, which entailed about five million dollars. Um, and there's a local share. Many of the funding opportunities were, were grant opportunities, mm -hmm. and there was a local share. That local share could be 50%, could be 75%, but we had to uh, raise those local money. So right. all that $5 million that was spent, a little less than that, a million dollars had to be raised locally to match the grants. Wow. And so that was done through fundraisers and the Hollywood Happening and other events that we did to raise the well, money. Well, you know what I love about that? That's the community mm -hmm. stepping up too, right? That's yep. a community to say, look, this is important to us as well, and we're gonna do what we can. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. And, and the other thing that has happened is the local political support has significantly uh, improved. And okay. we first started this 25 years ago. What were you thinking? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of time. And right. now it's like, thank you so much for doing that. And what right. can we do to help? Isn't that funny, and though? Just, right. Well, it's no different because everybody thinks you're crazy yeah. until it's finished. It's like that with everything. It's no different whether it's my show or even opening up a small business or taking on something that's so monumental like this. That's so beyond the pale and so beyond the norm. Right. The biggest question is, is what took so long? <laughs> you know, why couldn't you have done that faster? We were ready to do this don't years understand. ago. Yeah. And so. Um, but no, we've come a long ways. Um, it's a community cornerstone. Sure. Uh, we did this for the community. Right. Um, and we're just looking for so much more going forward. So I've been here multiple times already. And I just spent the entire day filming here from early morning to twilight. And I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of the depth of the village or its surroundings. It's a place that deserves far more attention than it gets. From its architecture to its restaurants to Zor Valley to the beautiful surrounding countryside, and most importantly, its people. It's just another special place in Western New York. It's tucked away in the hills, and it makes me so proud to say that I live here, and I'll certainly be back soon. This episode of Small Town Western New York was made possible by the following supporters. 